Okay, I gotta drink three for that. Let's see, Deckard. Stay a while and listen. Let's see, Farah. Um, pretty average crossbow. That is something worth keeping. Uh, required strength of 48. I don't even know what my strength is, actually. We've got some choices to make here with our armor. Okay. Let's repair. Alright, so here's where it's going to be a little tricky. Oh, let's drink three for a visit back to town before I forget. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's where it's going to be tricky. This is very, very powerful, but we don't have enough strength to use it. Need 48. We have 45. I could in Well, we have 45... And three of it is from this, so we're nowhere close to wearing that. Maybe I should just sell this and use this for now. I really need to... After my skill reset, I really need to bring this and this up farther. This especially. This is way lower because I brought energy up so far. Okay, so we're going to sell this for now. I'm sure the next time that we find awesome armor like this... Um, I'm sorry. I'm sure that by the time we get our strength up high enough to wear this armor, we'll have found something else either equally as awesome or better than that. So I'm not too chuffed about needing to keep it. So let's see Farah and sell it. Okay, now let's go to the stash, because we are going to wear this. That's just too much defense to pass up. So the question is, what kind of socket uh, jewels do we want to put in there? We have a flawed amethyst, which in armor would give us plus four to strength. Um, plus 17 to life, plus four to dexterity, plus 40 to attack rating, plus 17 to mana, and a 13% better chance of getting magic items. We also have plus 22 to attack rating and negative 15 to requirements. That's pretty good. Plus six to life, plus 20 poison damage over two seconds. That's pretty awesome. Lightning resistance plus 9, plus 4 to minimum damage, plus 15 to defense, 1 to light radius, plus 2 to mana after each kill. Mmm, that's tempting. 50 to attack uh, 15 defense, 1 to light radius, 15 defense, 1 to light radius, 15% damage taken goes to magicka. I wouldn't probably want to use that actually. 15 defense, 1 to light radius. Okay. So, um, hmm, two sockets, eh, and a defense of 59. That's tempting. 17 to mana. Order dexterity is also tempting. So is 17 to life. My life's at 191. That would get me over 200. Uh, I could use one of those. That would make the defense higher so that the next set of armor that will replace this one will be farther off, making this one you know, more valuable for the time. I guess let's deposit this while we're here. Uh, that one's... Oh, that one's tempting. I want to save these, though, so I can try to do the the three in a row that give you an extra power. So I guess if I have four L runes, that'd be the one I'd be most likely to use. And then the jewels are good, but uh, I kind of want to save it for like a really, really awesome item. Because that, for instance, plus 20 poison damage over two seconds is badass. But I don't want to use it in something that will be replaced, you know, at the beginning of the next act, for instance. I want to use it in like a weapon or armor that I will keep for possibly the rest of the game. So I'm thinking maybe that and that or that. Hang on a second, I can combine these into an even better one. What the heck? I got 
three of these. Yeah, alright, one moment. I totally didn't even realize I could do that. Until just now. Yeah, sapphire. Plus 24 to mana. Whoa, shit, now I'm going to use it. <laughs> Definitely. So I'll use that one, and I'll use... That would bring my mana up to 128. And I'll use... <clears throat> I think plus 40 to attack rating because my... Oop, one second, one second. Hey gang, sorry about that. Had a family member come home from a long day of work. Um, anyway. Don't remember what I was... I think I was just about to socket this thing, right? With this and... That? Maybe I should save that because I'll... With one more chipped ruby, I'll be able to make another one of these. Then I'll be able to combine those three into one of those, you know a full ruby. Likewise with the diamonds. Hmm. So maybe I should put that in there now. Just or that. Or that. Oh no, I said I was going to use one of these, I think, right? One to light radius, 15 to defense. And then 24 to mana. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. This is it. Here we go! It's going to be bluish, probably. Wait, is this the right one? One to light radius, 15 to defense. Yep. So now, if we put this on, what does our armor look like? I can't use this yet. Really? Required strength, 44. Pfft. Damn it. I thought it would be red if you couldn't use it yet. Don't I have 44 strength? I have 45 strength. Why can't I use this? Required level 12. What could possibly be keeping me from using this? I can't use this. What am I missing? Required strength 44. I have Oh, if I take that off, I don't have 44 strength. I have 42. Right. Okay. That's why I saved this thing. Kind of a bummer because that'll reduce my damage, but it's worth it to wear that. Okay, that threw me off for a while. <laughs> I'm very confused. Let's see if Eliza could potentially wear this other armor though. 47. No, probably not worth it. Eh, yeah, we'll just. Well, let's see what it does first. Uh, defense is going to go down quite a bit. It's at 216, it goes down to 194. Strength goes up to 56. Dexterity goes up to 78. No, not really worth it. We'll just be selling that. That was good armor, though. Lasted us a long time. Repair, because that was probably damaged. Right, so now... Defense of 175. Man, I really gotta get my dexterity up, because that's... They're really able. They're able to hit me pretty regularly now, and I'm gonna miss them a lot more often. But check it out, my mana's at 128. That's good. My attack rating went up. That's good. Okay, back to it then. And I already drank three for coming into town, I believe. Got a ton of potions to pick up here. Oh, a flawed diamond. Oh shit. <laughs> I could have added. Ugh. Okay. Fine, universe. Oh well, I probably would not have added it anyway. I would have stuck with what I've got. But, whatever. Whatever. Whoa! A key? Fine. Ah! Here's the boss chest. Okay, so I was pretty much done with this thing. This level, then. Magic ring. So that's one. Oops. Magic trident. That's two. Okay. Right. So here's another thing that's kind of a bitch. I'm level 20 now, and the level ups are coming much less frequently. 
So the first time I'll be able to add to the strength, meaning the first time I'll be able to remove that strength ring and replace it with my other more powerful ring, is not for quite a ways yet. I'm at 581930 of 671. Yeah, I got a ways to go. Almost 100,000 points of experience I need to get. Oh dear. Okay, so that's, but that's the whole map, I'm pretty sure. We actually explored that rather efficiently. And it's nice that it was only one level, too. Okay, now let's go back to... What? I'm out of... Stamina already? Let's go back to... the Far Oasis and see if we can find the damn maggot lair, which sounds so appetizing. use that well. Maybe that's what I should do. I should head to that well. It's not that far from the staircase anyway. Come on, Lucius, get there. I know you're tired, but you can make it. There we go. Where's this? There it is. Okay, now be careful of enemies that are going to want to just pound us into submission here because we even though we cleared this place once we haven't oh god damn it okay oh 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 and a boss should i just undead extra fast magic resistant i should just kill this guy i'm going to kill him oh <laughs> this is maybe cheating a little bit I technically should not have killed him because I've already been through here. Ow! What an asshole. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. Hang on, asshole. I just realized all these guys are going to be waiting here for me to fight them. Yep, here they are. Watch that health. I've got lightning resistance on, but... Take the rejuvenation potion. Is that a boss too? God damn it. I think it was. Okay, so hang on. I gotta drink four then? No magical items. That's good. Okay, four. Now here's what's confusing. Tell me where the hell I'm gonna find this thing. Am I gonna have to? I mean, where is it? Where could it possibly? Oh, Jesus. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Where could it possibly be? I'm not gonna hit any chests or anything like that. I'm just gonna keep on running. I'm thinking it's gotta be down on this level somewhere. Okay. I guess I'm technically farming experience here, which is not something I wanted to do, but I don't really have a choice. I've got to find the shaft. Hey, go away. Ah, I gotta kill this thing. Not gonna take. That. Okay. Already been through here. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? The hell? There it is! Okay, good. Oh, good, I meant to search the whole freaking thing. How did these urns get down here? Into the maggot lair. Alright, let's turn back to Holy Fire now. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Maybe. Maybe I'll take that. Just to be on the safe side. Let's go in here with mostly full health. Aha! So I do want my light resistance back on. And a ring. That's one. Oh, wait, wait, Elisa, wait. I'm drinking here. You gotta give me a second. Ow. What's this way? Ooh! Rock worms. 
Lays eggs. Gross. Hey gang, I'm back. Sorry, I had to pause it there for a second. Uh, I'm on the pause menu here because I just noticed... I don't. I mean, I've noticed it before, obviously, because it's unavoidable that the pentagrams rotate, but why would they do that? <laughs> why wouldn't they just have them static on the side of the item that you're going to select? The fact that they rotate just looks kind of weird. Like, would a demon be like, Yes, pentagrams, but make them spin. Give it some pizzazz, you know. Anyway, we're in the middle of slaughtering these beetles that hit us with lightning and suck. I'm not going to take a health potion. I'm going to kill them all. I can do it. Oh, God, no, I can't. I need a health potion. There we go. Frost node. That'll help me out. Hit it. Take a mana potion, too. Hit the itchies. Oh, black locusts. Gore Skull the Impaler. Whoa. <laughs> the, the collective of bugs was a boss? And it had a name. That swarm of bugs, bugs had a name. Okay, so I've killed a boss. Let's take two. Two drinks, I mean. Got a rejuvenation potion. Magical shield, which I can't carry, apparently. Bunch of gold. Thawing potion. Is there anything over here still? No. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Let's, let's, let's... Oh, we're not going to be able to do a damn thing with this, are we? Don't have any scrolls to identify, so I can't actually... There's a lot of rejuvenation potions. Okay. Can't do a damn thing. Just have to go back to town. Fun -na -na -na. Good day. Thanks. How may I help you? Uh, you can help me by taking this off me. Foul Trident of Shock. One to seven lightning damage. Twelve poison damage over three seconds. That's not bad. Ah. Gale Whirl, Sacred Globe. 10% faster cast rate, 12% poison damage over 3 seconds, 8 to energy, 7 to life, lightning resist plus 23, level 1 Nova. It's kind of cool. Death Song, the Spiked Club. Very fast attack speed, plus 10% increased attack speed, 14% enhanced damage, 1 to maximum damage, so it ends up doing 5 to 10, which isn't that hot. 42 to attack rating, 163% damage to undead, which is actually pretty good. 79% to attack rating against undead, and requirements are reduced by 20%. Nice. This ring, half freeze duration. Ooh. This ring is 10% chance to cast level 3 charged bolt when struck. Hmm. I wish Eliza could wear a ring. That'd be perfect for her. As it is, I need that on right now to wear this armor. And the ring that I'd replace it with from my stash is much, much better than this ring. But that's a really cool ring. I like that ring. Anyway, I guess I'll sell it. Half freeze duration. I'm tempted to keep this in case I'm facing bad guy, like, freezing enemies. Like a bunch of them in, like, one particular level. I could come back to town and put it on, but... I probably won't even think to do that, so let's just sell it. Let's sell all the potions except for the rejuvenation ones. We'll combine them. Make them into another giant rejuvenation potion. We got the sweet flawed diamond. Anything on the ultimate weapons. Okay, to the stash. Grab the Herodric Cube, put these two here. Okay, um, put that one there. Now. Ooh! I wonder if I could combine that one with this one and. Hang on. Let's see if I can do that. Because I have three of these now. Right? Can I do that? 
Would that make it like some kind of super ultra potion? No, can't do it. Dang. Oh well, worth a shot. I don't know what else it would do if it heals 100% of your life and mana. That seems a little excessive. I don't know. Well, that's fine. I just don't know what else it could do above and beyond that if you could combine it. 62 attack rating. Yeah, that would have been kind of cool to add to my armor, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, so I got plenty of room now in my inventory. So this is the ring I'll put back when I get rid of my strength ring after I level up, which is going to be a while. 6% life stolen per hit, damage reduced by 2. That's better than the level 3 charged bolt, whatever it is that I would cast. So, oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot. Gotta put the Herodric cube back. Gotta deposit. Okay, I don't think I drank 3 for coming back to town, right? So I'll do that here in a moment.